champions of the Most High God, hello, blessed and highly favored ones. You know, almost every day I'm asked questions or asked for prayers. Uh, today was praying in agreement against fear. Uh, some Christians are saying, whatever happens, happens. God's got our back or God's with us. Well, God's given us dominion and authority and all power, as it says in Luke 10, 19. So I brought my Bible and I'm going to turn to Luke 10, 19 and read it. I'd like you to do the same. So we're going to tackle some things like fear or the authority that we have in Jesus Christ. So let's go to Luke 1019 and my favorite Bible that I grew up reading is King James Version. So this is the King James Version because this is considered to be the most precise. Some versions like NIV leave out verses or they don't use the, they translate it differently. So in Luke 1019, King James says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all nothing's left out that's all that's fear that's COVID-19 that's everything all the power of the enemy and nothing are you listening nothing by any means shall hurt you Jesus Christ said this so he has given us all dominion authority. When you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're equipped and given everything. You have the same spirit that lives and dwells in Jesus Christ. But it's up to you to build that spirit and understanding to control the flesh. You need to put the flesh under your flesh is what wants to fear. Your flesh is wants to fight back in the natural, saying, no, I'm afraid. Or your flesh is what reacts and freaks out over things. You need to put your flesh under. And the way you put your flesh under is the word of God. Dying to self every day means I'm putting God first. I'm thinking God thoughts. And to think God thoughts, you need to fill up with God's word and spend time with God's word. For it says in Psalm 1611, one thing my family does is read the Proverbs every day and Psalms. So you could do one Psalm a day, you could do three Psalms a day, you could do five Psalms a day. I personally love five Psalms. I like to just flood my flesh with God's word to overcome any thought. Anytime a thought comes about fear, I just cast it down with God's word. I have a word from the Lord that trumps it. Okay, so let's go to Psalms 16. Psalm 16, verse 11. Psalm 16, verse 11 says, There oh, thou wilt show me the path of life. So God will show us the path of light. In his presence is fullness of joy. So spending time with him, that's the secret place, Psalms 91, one, dwelling with him, sitting at his feet. That's why it's like you're quiet, you're praying, you're worshiping, you're in praise. It says um, that we should wake up with praise and thanksgiving. Okay, so fullness of joy and at the right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So if you want to stay in that place of joy, you need to stay and start your day with him. You need to end your day with him. You need to flood your day with him. And that's any time you get a moment, think about the verse. Any time you have an opportunity, think about the verse. Whatever verse you studied that morning, you could think on that all day long. It could be a one verse. Like I remember a season where I just sat and soaked in Psalm 71 again and again and just kind of sat and reread it. And I, I mean, it's something that I've said over my children since my daughter was born. So over 10 years, but there was a season where it wasn't just at bedtime. It was like sitting in that verse, especially Psalms 91, one. Okay. So you could take a verse and live on that for a while, especially in this season, like second Timothy one, seven, I do, you could confess that. This is one thing you could do every day. You could confess one verse every day. I decree and declare, I do not have a spirit of fear because God did not give me a spirit of fear, but he gave me a spirit of power and love and a sound mind, you know? And then you can add to it. I have the mind of Christ. I have a heart after God's own heart. I think on things with all intentionality that are lovely and pure and good report. 
just those simple things. But you have to be the one that encourages yourself, just like David did. David did it every day, even when he was at the point of death, when someone's after him trying to kill him, he was in a cave. He encouraged himself. He praised, he worshiped, he'd honor the Lord. So did uh, Paul and Silas in the prison jails. They worshiped the Lord. Even Stephen worshiped and said, Lord, forgive them. They know not what they do. So you stay in that place of rest with him and shielded and protected with the armor of light. Pray without ceasing, rejoice forevermore and give thanks. So stay in his presence and enjoy life to the fullest. God bless champions, overcomers. You can do all things through Christ who gives you the strength. Amen.